In this video, we will continue solving absolute value equations. However, we will find our absolute values have other numbers on that side of the equation. When this happens, before we look at our two solutions, we must first isolate the absolute value. Only after isolating the absolute value can we consider both the positive and negative solutions. We do this isolation by solving the equation for the absolute value like a formula. Let's look at some examples where we see this work out. In this problem, you notice the absolute value is on the left side with the 5 and 2. We must first get rid of the 5 and 2 before we can solve this equation. We cannot combine the 5 and 2. They are not like terms. The 2 has an absolute value with it. So we will subtract the 5 from both sides. This leaves us with 2 times the absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 6. Next, we must get rid of the 2. We cannot distribute through an absolute value because this may give us some false solutions. Thus, the only way to get rid of times 2 is to divide both sides by 2. We now have the absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 3. Now that the absolute value is alone, we are finally ready to consider both positive and negative 3 for our work. We show this with our two equations, 3x minus 4 equals positive 3, and 3x minus 4 equals negative 3. We solve both of these like a regular two-step equation. Adding 4 to both sides begins the first equation. We now have 3x equals 7. Finally, get the x alone by dividing both sides by 3 and x is equal to the fraction 7 thirds. Similarly, we solve the second equation to find our second answer. Start by adding 4 to both sides. We now have 3x equals 1. To get the x alone, we will divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to the fraction 1 third. We now have our two solutions, which we found by first getting the absolute value alone, and then considering the positive and negative solutions. Let's try one more example, where we can see this pattern work out. In this next problem, again you notice the absolute value is not alone. We first clear the 3 by adding 3 to both sides. We now have negative 7, times the absolute value of 2 minus 4x. This equals negative 28. Again, we cannot distribute the 7 through the parentheses. We must divide both sides by the negative 7. As we do, we have the absolute value of 2 minus 4x is equal to 4. Now, the absolute value is alone, we can consider both the positive and negative 4. 2 minus 4x equals positive 4, and 2 minus 4x equals negative 4. We can quickly solve these two-step equations by first subtracting 2 from both sides, giving us negative 4x equals 2, and finally dividing both sides by negative 4. This gives us x equals after reducing, negative 1 half. The second equation solves almost identical, starting by subtracting 2 from both sides. Negative 4x equals negative 6. Finally, divide both sides by negative 4. This leaves us with x equals now positive 3 halves. Again, noticed it was important to first get the absolute value alone before we considered positive and negative values.